Hi there, DW Berman here, and this week's lightweight video is a rather boring one, but uh, very practical. We're up into uh, upgrade season. Uh, not that there's actually a season for upgrades, but you know, we've just had 11.0.2 uh, released a few weeks ago, and they, they just released 11.0.3. Three, and uh, whenever you, we get a new version of Lightwave, it's recommended that we reinstall and use fresh configurations files. Um, the problem with that, though, is of course we sometimes will alter our menu settings. So we have, like, here I have an I/O tab. Well, the I/O tab comes with Lightwave now, but I've added. 3D Coat app link and uh, the AE link stuff to it. And I have one for view, I have one for the Turbulence 4D uh, or FD demo. Um, and you know, you might have a special one for your favorite tools and stuff like that. And the problem with uh, upgrading and using new configs is you lose your custom setup like that. And you might have some custom menu settings or, or keyboard shortcuts that you want to keep and you don't want to have to reset up all your keyboard shortcuts every single time you upgrade. Um, there's an easy way to take care of that. Let's go over here to our uh, our uh, edit menu edit menu layout button um, and that gives us our configure menus panel and you'll notice we have a save and a load over here. Now if you're just going from like 11.0 Point two to 11.0.3. In other words, a service pack. If you go, if it's a service pack update, and there are no changes to the default menu, or there's no new features that that get added to the menu, you can probably just click save and save out your your config file. Um, that will save the entire config file, all, or not the config file, the entire menu layout as it stands here. And that's probably fine again for a service pack. If you if it's a feature update like going from 11.0 to 11.5, where they're actually adding new features and new menu options, you don't want to do that because you won't have the new menu options after you've reloaded this back in. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come down here to my uh, in my menu tab here. I'm gonna look for the the things that have changed. Uh, we have the I/O. And on the I.O. tab, remember I've added the 3D code in the AE link. I'm going to right-click on that, and I'm going to export branch. And uh, I'll just call it I.O. tab. And uh, that .cfg is added to it. And I'm just going to overwrite because it's already there. And, of course, I have the same thing for the Turbulence 4D and... Uh, yeah. Turbulence FD. Sorry, I keep saying 4D. Turbulence FD and the... Uh, yeah, I've already exported all of these. So basically, you export them, and that's that. You want to do this in both layout and in modeler. And after you've uh, wiped your configs, you, you know, deleted your configs, and did a complete reinstall of Lightwave, you just have to come back in here and do a load. Nope, not a load, sorry. Import branch. So you want to come up here to like your main menu and say import branch, and I'll just do the... Uh, the view of one again and hit open and you'll notice I have a new view tab over here so just hit when you're done loading all your tabs you can just hit done and you can just grab these and move them into position at least in theory you can move them into position yeah there you go so that's how you deal with your menu layouts now we also have the keyboard shortcut editor so if I go to the edit edit keyboard shortcuts I can just save these out. The, I don't have... Again, you, you might... The problem is if, if they've changed keyboard shortcuts from 11.0 to 11.5, uh, you, you'll lose some, um, the new keyboard shortcuts. So you want to be aware of that. It depends on how many custom keyboard shortcuts you've created because it, it may be worth your time just to go in and fix the ones that you've... Uh, or to re recreate the ones that you've added. So, yeah, that's that's the main thing. Um, another thing that's probably worth mentioning is that occasionally something will get screwed up in the Lightwave configs, and you'll come into Layout or Modeler, 
and a bunch of buttons will be missing or they'll be blank or they'll be disconnected or something and something's just really messed up with your interface. Um, one thing you can do is come to the edit menu layout and it'll probably be on their default settings but if you just switch it to a previous default setting like say 10.1 style and then back to defaults then your menus should all come back of course now that I've done that I've lost my tabs but that's you know the custom tabs I've set up but that's not that difficult to fix I just right click again right click on the main menu and import branch and I can import my custom branches and now I just need to hit done and reorganize them I'll have to get rid of that other IO because I don't need it anymore I'll put that one there and let me get rid of that Sec that first IO, the one that doesn't have the extra stuff I added. And now, the important thing in Lightwave, close it. Because when you close Lightwave, it saves the config, config files. If you were to make all your config changes and uh, Lightwave crashes for some reason, you may have to redo all your config changes. So, yep, that's the basic dealio. Um, I said dealio. So, uh, again, you'll have to do that for both layout and light and, and modeler if you want to uh, save your custom configs. And uh, happy light waving. Be sure to check out our light wave videos over at uh, liberty3d.com for uh, you know paid tutorials, uh, more in-depth tutorials. And um, also, like or subscribe to this page or this uh, YouTube channel so we can uh, gauge the interest and keep making these videos if they're helpful. So I'll uh, talk to you later. Thanks. This has been Dana Berman.